Hello, we are some students of the University of Arauca, and we are going to explain you how you must classificate the turbo machine. As you can see, the turbo machines are classified in two big groups, the hydraulics and the thermal. In the next transparency, I will explain you which is the feature. According with the direction of the power, we have all the two kinds of turbo machines, the work absorbing and the work producing. And finally, we have some examples of turbo machines. But now we are going to continue with the transparency. According to the field's compressibility, we have the hydraulic and the thermal turbo machine. In other words, if the fluid doesn't change its density, the turbo machine is called hydraulic. But if the fluid changes its density, we call it thermal. Although we say that the fluid doesn't change its density, the real is that the fluid changes its density, but it affects a very few changes. In this transparency, we are going to talk about the direction of the energetic exchange. Through a machine, are responsible of the exchange between the machine and the fluid. In the work producing through a machine, the machine's power is turned into fluid power. In contrast to work absorbing through a machine, where the fluid power is turned into machine's power. Now we are going to show you some pictures of turbo machines in order to see you how the turbo machines are and how they work. Pumps. The fluid goes into the suction area and increases its speed on the blade. Finally, the fluid goes across the housing and goes out for the discrete area. In this way, the fluid obtains more pressure than before. Due to the rotational effect of the Archimedes screw, the water of the bottom achieves to arrive to the top and for this reason the potential power is bigger. Both propeller for marine and fans use the mechanic power from the blades and the engine to increase the kinetic power. The difference between marine propellers and fans is the fluid which each one works. In other words, marine propeller works under water and fan with air. The fluid is forced to be compressed, and the compression makes that the same molecules are in a smaller sp space. For this reason, increase the pressure. Petrol turbine breaks the speed of the fluid and use the power of the fluid in order to produce movement in an engine. This power is turned into energy for, a, for any facility. This kind of turbines produce an expansion of the fluid, and the molecules aren't closer than before, and this is the reason for the pressure decreases. Aeroturbines use the speed of the air to produce energy. In this way, the kinetic power of the air decreases. According to the change power, we have seen that the fluid's power is changed in order to produce a short energy. This kind of energy that we change are the pressure, kinetic power, potential power, and the enthalpy. Finally, and according to the geometry, we can classify the machine in four groups. In other words, according to the component of the speed that produces the movement, we have the following geometries. Axial machine, where the fluid always goes through the impeller in the axial direction. Radial machine, where the fluid goes into the impeller and the geometry of the impeller changes the direction of the fluid and achieves that the radial component of the speed was the responsible of the movement. And finally, the mixed machine. Both axial and radial component make possible the fluid movement. Thank you, and I hope that this video can help to understand the classification
on the Google machine.